The elephant behind the keeper is called Sana Sana, followed by Mutito, followed by Malkia, followed by Mbegu, followed by Maramoja, Medusa, and Tauro. One of the places that I really wanted to visit whilst in Kenya was the David Sheldrick Wildlife Trust Foundation. It was born from one family's passion for Kenya and its wilderness. The David Sheldrick Wildlife Trust has been around for over 30 years and is today the most successful orphan elephant rescue and rehabilitation program in the world and one of the pioneering conservation organizations for wildlife and habitat protection in East Africa. The foundation is open to the public on a daily basis from 11 a.m. to 12 noon, where the orphans come in for their daily mud bath and midday feed. Time, the visitors stand behind a rope and the main keeper gets on a microphone and talks about the daily responsibilities and operation of the foundation. This includes talking about each baby elephant's story and their individual rescue that's incredibly touching and heroic. Most of the babies are there because their mothers have been poached or perhaps they got separated from the herd or the babies might have fallen into a well or some other traumatic experience. From the rescue of milk-dependent orphaned infant elephants, their journey begins at the nursery in Nairobi, where they receive dedicated hands-on care and all the love and support they need to overcome the physical and psychological trauma of being orphaned. And then they can start to enjoy the life they deserve through to their ultimate rehabilitation back into the wild. For a yearly fee, one can foster an orphaned elephant, and when you do, you get to also visit them in the evenings at 5 p.m. when they return to the stockyards for the night. And you get regular updates and newsletters via email about what's happening at the foundation, as well as photos and the status of the baby that you're fostering. I've been fostering Gala, that's the cute one that you see there. The keepers are getting Gala and two of the other baby orphans used to going into the transportation vehicle for their milk because they're soon going to be relocated into a protective conservation area for a while, which is a great thing as it's one step closer to getting them ready to get released back into the wild. As you can probably see, the work and dedication that's being done here is absolutely incredible and inspiring. The Trust continues an aggressive public relations campaign internationally to outlaw both the trade in ivory forever and also ban the cruel trade in live elephants shipped from Africa to foreign lands for exhibition purposes in zoos and circuses. To find out more about how you can help, please check out the David Sheldrick Foundation website.